Hi, this is Jimmy Aluwale. Um, I want to give you five tips to help you manage depression. First of all, let's talk about depression. Depression sucks by its nature. Um, it literally takes out everything that you need to have a good quality of life. It knocks out your energy. It can take out your motivation. Even the things that used to bring you a lot of pleasure, you just kind of lose interest in doing them. It can make you feel isolated or just the fact that you don't want to hang out with anyone. Um, it can impact your sleep. Maybe you sleep too much. Maybe you don't even get enough sleep. Um, you can have like ruminations and feelings that you're not worthy and just negative thoughts about yourself. You know, in general, depression is not fun. So here are a few things that you can try that hopefully could help you with managing depression. First thing um, will be to do small but achievable goals. Just setting small but achievable goals. I'm talking about things like, um, you know, saying that you want to start journaling or maybe you want to sign up for a 5K and give yourself like six months to try um, with that. Or you could do something like, let's say you tend to isolate, just give yourself a goal of calling a friend per week. Um, or you could, you know, take up a new hobby like sculpting or um, art or learning how to bake. Um, these are things that can be really small, achievable tasks. Some of the ones I've mentioned are more short term while the others are more long term. Another thing you could do is volunteering. Yes, volunteering makes us feel really good. Altruism just makes us feel like good people. But you know what depression makes us feel like? Like sucky people. Depression makes us feel like we're worthless, that we're no good. So if you volunteer, um, maybe at a homeless shelter or at a food pantry or at an animal shelter, if you're an animal person, um, you get to cuddle with animals, that can make you feel really good. Something else to do with animals is you could get yourself an animal. Um, if your house or apartment and places like that will allow it, um, having an animal to take care of, to maybe take for a walk or bathe or feed can give you a sense of purpose. So that can knock out the hopelessness that can be very persistent with um, issues of depression. Um, the third thing that you could try is change of scenery. Depression has this way of um, isolating people where you don't feel like going anywhere. All you want to do is watch Netflix um, and sleep, eat chocolate and ice cream <laughs> and not see anyone. You just don't have the energy to deal with anybody. It's like not today. And you just want to stay in bed. You don't want to get out. But it's important with this to change scenery. You don't have to dress up or wear makeup. Think of maybe just walking down the street. How about going to the park or even going to a coffee shop? Um, if being in a crowded environment can make you feel anxious in the midst of depression, I would just say go to a place that is not very crowded, like just down the street or, um, you know, to the library or, um, you know, just, just have a short walk. The goal is really to change the scenery and get out and be around people. Maybe not necessarily a lot of people, but certainly you want to be around people. Um, something else you could do is um, to be around people is go to the gym. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying go to the gym and work out. If you want to work out, that's great because, you know, those endorphins are great for making us feel good. But you could go to the gym and just go into the sauna. Yeah, you can get warm in this cold weather and, um, you know, just get all the, you know, flush the toxins out and just sit there. Um, there is usually not that many people in a sauna. Um, as much as there are like in the gym. So you can get dressed up, go to the sauna, sweat it out and, and then leave. So that's something else you could try. Um, something else that I would, uh, you know, have you try is mindfulness activities. Mindfulness activities will be um, something like coloring. I remember one time I went to this art journaling class and we had to color. So they gave us a paper and crayons and I couldn't I was like it's been so long since I had used a crayon actually when I thought about it I had probably not used a crayon since I was in primary school which in Amer in America that'll be elementary school so it was so much fun it's crazy how when we become adults we lose all our ability to play 
Um, so get a crayon out and start coloring. You don't need to be great at art. You could just get one of those coloring books and just color away or you could knit. Knitting is an amazing mindfulness activity. You know, try doing that as well. Um, and you know, what that does is it takes your mind away from all the negativity and the, the negative ruminations and keeps you focused on the here and now. First of all, you have a goal that you're accomplishing. You are doing something that is tactile. And it's, it's, it's just a fun activity to do. It, it takes your mind away from all the negativity that tends to flush the mind when we're dealing with depression. Something else to think about is having at least one self-care activity a day. When I say self-care activity, I don't mean going for a pedicure or a manicure or a massage. I'm talking about something as simple as just having a shower. Because when it comes to depression, sometimes you don't feel like getting out of bed and having a shower and brushing your teeth. So just, you know, going and having a shower is a self-care activity. Just doing something kind for yourself or going to buy lotions um, that, are, that smells really good. Something that will sort of take you to a place that you enjoy. Um, I don't know whether it's a vanilla for you or jasmine for you or whatever it is. Any smell that makes you feel good. Something else you can think about is using essential oils. I personally love essential oils. So you could use essential oils and just, you know, just rub it over yourself and make yourself feel really good. Um, it can also help you feel rejuvenated, um, which can sort of inf impact the issues around energy level. So those are the five things that I would encourage you to do. Just to summarize, first, do small but achievable goals, short or long term. Two, volunteer with people or animals or even, or, you know, get yourself an animal. Three, change your scenery, get out of the house. Um, four, do a mindfulness activity, coloring, painting, knitting. Um, and then five, self-care, shower, yeah, brush your teeth, yes. Just practice radical kindness um, and use scented oils or um, lotions. So those are the few tips that I have for you. Um, let me know if you've tried any of these and how successful you are at them. Um, and I would also encourage you that these are just ways to manage um, depression. You know, if you want to deal with depression, I encourage you to get a therapist and speak to someone that can listen to you and help you sort of address some of the underlying issues that might be present. Again, this is Jumi Olawale. I can be found at www.focuscounselingclinic.com. And you can email me at focuscounselingclinic at gmail.com or jumiolawale at gmail.com. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. And if you enjoy this video, feel free to share with your friends and family. Thank you.